Stancho here. Uh, last time we did an interview at a comic shop called Carmine Street Comics. You can check the link over here. Uh, this time we went to Houston to visit my comic book inker friend, Mustafa Musa. Check it out. Alright, so I'm in Houston, Texas. Visiting my friend Mustafa Musa. This is his art studio. And uh, Mustafa, can you kind of introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. Uh, Mustafa, not Mufasa, that's the Lion King. Uh, I've been a professional inker since 1998. Some of the things I've worked on include uh, lots of stuff for Marvel, a lot of custom projects, and I got to work with Stan Lee a couple times. That was cool. Uh, I got to do Transformer toy designs for Hasbro. Uh, I got to do G.I. Joe for Hasbro, I got to do Ninja Turtles for Mirage. So basically everything as a kid that I enjoyed, I got to do as an adult. Except for Thundercats, not yet. Thundercats. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Someday, someday. Man, so jealous. I'm not gonna fall for gravity Cause the world will doubt, try to bring you down But your love is real I like working with uh, as many different see. people as I can, telling people I think the best collaborators uh, bring the best out of others, and then that helps them bring the best out of themselves. And if you want to get really fancy, uh, one artist and another artist can come together to make a third artist that is better than the, the sum of their parts. Oh man, I've never heard it explained that way, but that's, that's poetry. Well, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and the best inkers are usually mind readers. They can kind of tell what the pencil meant, even if they didn't actually put it. And then the worst sneakers are tracers, so I try not to be those guys because they don't usually last too long. So I kind of want to dive into the topic that I want to talk about today, which is being profitable at Comic Cons. And um, the more I talked with Mustafa about this, the more I realized how much insight he had into how he has been able to make it work for him. You just kind of have to know what it is that people like. And you have to kind of know your audience. And I'm like, oh, you guys like Deadpool? Oh, okay, cool. I like Deadpool. I like going to Deadpool. Oh, you like Harley Quinn? Oh, I like Harley Quinn. And then all of a sudden, there are tons of Deadpool and Harley Quinn fans. Can I ask you, what are your best selling prints? Deadpool and Harley Quinn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, and then everything else. You know, people love Batman, people love Joker, people love Spider Man, you know. But those two are above and beyond. But really, at these shows, you kind of want to have. Uh, three things. You want to have original art to show off. Um, you know, I've had a lot of stuff published over the years, so I just bring some of the things that I think are my favorites, that I think people like. Uh, you want to be able to do commissions, you know, either at the show or you take them, you send them, you know, as soon as you're finished. And then uh, prints. And prints, what they can do is they can feed into the other two things. So they, oh, that guy does a pretty good Deadpool. Well, let me see what he does for Cable or for Batman. So they're kind of like advertising, but then people sometimes they just want prints to put on their wall or to put in their book at home. And so you have all three of those things covered, you're going to be successful. I want to show the audience this great idea that you had. I don't take full credit for it. The guy I worked with, uh, John Hughes, is a really helpful guy. He kind of showed me the ropes. You know, when I started out, I was like, well, I've worked on this, and I've worked on this, I could show that off. He's like, if you do that, nobody will care. If you do it in black and white, nobody will care. People like color, people like characters they've actually recognized. And so I said, oh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And so one of the things that Henry worked on was this X Men, where it had all the heroes on one side, the villains on the other side, and he printed it double sided so he could put them together. It's like, oh, that's, that's actually a really good idea. So I could have Batman on one side, I could have Superman on the other side, and then I could print them double-sided because Batman sells a lot better than Superman. So that works out. And so, of course, I uh, did that with Harley as well because people love Harley, so why wouldn't people love like every version of Harley? And so I make that double-sided too so I don't have to worry about inventory more than anything because people end up buying both because they want the full image. Uh, I would show you the poster, but the poster is sold out. It's the full image together. And how much more does it cost to print double-sided than one-sided? Uh, well, it's double the cost of the print. So it costs a bit more, but hopefully if people buy 
uh, both, then it uh, is worthwhile. Oh, what cons have you done um, recently? I try to do one every few weeks, but uh, I was at Fan Expo Dallas. Uh, I was uh, at uh, St. Louis, where's the world St. Louis? I'm gonna be at C2E2 for the first time in Chicago. Really looking forward to that one. Kansas City, Minnesota, Philadelphia, Detroit, Houston, San Antonio, a lot. <laughs> and so, so you go into pretty much any convention pretty confident that you're gonna, you're gonna make a profit at, at every one of those conventions? I have never not made a profit. What's a time that you changed up your strategy in order to be able to be more successful at a con? I will say that on Sundays, oftentimes, if there's kids, I'll do like a kids day discount. So I have these little um, mini prints, index cards. I might give those away to kids for free or I might sell prints at a discount if there's kids or families involved. Because I know how it's like to have kids and, you know, you don't have a lot of extra money. So it gives them something good to feel about and I get to have our work uh, out there. So I'm okay with it. All right, so um, well, where can people find your stuff online or let us know? Uh, if you type in Mustafa Inc. Uh, on Facebook, Instagram, or MustafaInc.com, M-O-S-T-A-F-A-I-N-K.com. Uh, it's a good place to find uh, my uh, artwork, original art, prints, uh, anything like that. Uh, stuff I'm always posting on Instagram and social media. Um, yeah, make sure to follow it and click on the like button.